The Ukrainian State Security Service has given archived documents about the forcible deportation of Crimean Tatars from their homeland in 1944 to the Tatar spiritual leader Mustafa Jamilov. The documents contain never-before-seen undercover reports and plans from the Soviet-era deportation of the ethnic minority from the Black Sea Peninsula of Crimea, according to Ukrainian News Channel 24. The head of the SBU, which is a successor to the Kremlin's KGB, has said that the secret documents prove that the Tatar minority suffered from barbaric deportation at the hands of Russia 70 years ago. Mustafa Jamilov, the 70-year-old former dissident and human rights activist who has led the Tatars in Crimea for decades, said that the released papers will be of invaluable help to his people. He also hopes that he'll soon receive documented proof of the illegal and subversive actions of the joint partnership between the regime of former Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych and the Russian Federal Security Service against the Crimean Tatars. Jamilov has felt firsthand what it's like to be targeted by Russia after being banned from his home in Crimea on April 22nd for inciting, quote, ethnic violence and for being a provocateur. Dictator Joseph Stalin began deporting the Tatars from Crimea on May 18, 1944, after accusing them of sympathizing with Nazi Germany. An estimated 200,000 deportees died on the journey to Central Asia or Eastern Russia. After the annexation of Crimea by Russia in March, the tightly knit Muslim community fears it could face repressions once again.